morning everyone Sunday morning on this beautiful Neveiru Shalayam campus welcome we have tractors in the ground today um, we're finishing up the last bit of the holes that we need to do and we are moving lots of wood chips so we should get another batch of wood chips uh, move them into place around all our new trees especially in the food forest let's see if the tractors are here Would you look at that? This is the front of Neve. These are the main offices. And this is how it looks today. We've got lots and lots of rosemary. Beautiful flowers. Beautiful flowers, but lots of rosemary. If we take a closer look at the rosemary, this is what it looks like from this side. And from that side. And from this side. So today what we're going to do is we're going to take out all the rosemary. Alright, we're starting here, clearing it all out. Ooh. Look at that bridge. It's crazy, this tractor. I have some kind of a love-hate relationship with the tractors at the moment. I, I want them to do what they do, but it's just you have to stand there and make sure they do exactly what you want, how you want. We're moving up here, all the wood chips from there, we're moving up to here, and then from here we can take them to where we need. Let's go say good morning to the turkeys, and I'll show you a bit about how their setup is. Now the thing, the difference between tur baby turkeys and baby chicks with the chickens are that the minute the mama chick the minute the mama chicken calls she goes click 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 on the floor all her babies are around her the turkeys it's not like that they all just go their own way sort of so it's much harder to return them to their cages but this is this is all about the turkey enclosure this is the main gate And then we have this whole inside enclosure, and that's the gate to, that co connects to the chickens. Now, we, we, what I did here is we made three setups. We have actually only two mamas who laid eggs, but we have one other female turkey who didn't lay any eggs, but she joined in to sit on the eggs. So she had like a joint partnership. So this is Kiwi here and her babies, and she's the one who laid all these eggs. And this is her daughter from last year, Kiwi's daughter, she's the big mama. This is her daughter from last year, Penguin, because she's black and white, she's like a gray scale. Penguin joined her in sitting even though she didn't, le le she didn't lay any eggs. So this is Penguin over here. I gave her four. They were sitting together in the same, um, they were sitting together on the same eggs and then one of, the e one of the chicks were dead in between them. And I was scared they're gonna fight over the chicks and the eggs the whole time. So I separated them. Penguin's in here, she has four chicks and Kiwi's in here and she has eight chicks. And here we have Layla, she's also Kiwi's daughter. And Layla here has 15 of her own chicks that she laid the eggs and hatched out. Now it's going to be really cold this week so I want to make sure that, that their enclosures are also enclosed in plastic. I started, didn't do a very good job, it was just like a meanwhile thing to make sure they all have like a cozy area. Good morning, daddies. Uh-huh. Are you guys all following me out the gate? Look at you skinny little things just fit right through. Huh? Look at this. Good. We're all free-ranging. Well, let's hope it's not mongoose season. 
What happens when the chicken crosses the road? What happens? He finds yummy food. Right? That's Ginger over there. They find yummy food. What about you? Look how pretty. Okay, the reason I'm so concerned with the chickens and everyone coming to free range is because of the mongoose. We've had a lot of mongoose just come and mongoose just kills them off one at a time without even thinking. Um, they haven't been here yet. They're more like of a spring. They come in the spring. So meanwhile, I'll let them. She goes right out. But it takes them a really long time to figure out where she's out. All my eggs are going for feeding the baby turkeys. For the first few days, I feed them eggs. And then I start mixing the eggs in with their feed, their grain. All right, another truck. Uh, the wood chips came because we want to get rid of all, cover all the spots that we need to cover with the wood chips. But unfortunately, someone just parked right where we want the wood chips, which is pretty annoying. Let's see, I think we'll be able to use this whole truckload of wood chips today. I think we can. Beautiful trees going in. Right now, these are cut love trees. I don't even know how to say it in English, but they're beautiful. And they have this amazing bark. Bark is red so beautiful and they have fruit look at that bark look at that pretty red bark is a native Israeli tree they're saying that this katalav tree is called a strawberry tree it has fruit that resembles strawberries katalav so, so this guy is bringing the wood chips from here putting it into here we're straightening it out the wood chips. Always mulch, 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 mulch. You can't say it enough. Mulch, it keeps the weeds from growing. It keeps the moisture content in. It holds the water. It um, gives nutrients to the plants. He gives him the wood chips. And that's how we work together. Woo! There you go. So we're finished with this area at the moment. Can you see with all the sun? Yeah, go on. They're all going. They're all going. All right. We're getting somewhere. Look at that. They're following. Go on. Round the corner. Round the corner. One more. Come on. You can do it. Round the corner. Go on. Yes. Go, Mama. Show them. Show them how to go inside. Tell them. Mama, call them. The last three. They have no idea where they're going. Come on. Come on. There you go. Turn the corner. Oh, this is so cute. <laughs> I get so stuck. They get so stuck. Keep going, keep going. A little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. <laughs> right on the corner. Oh, there you go. There you go. Last one. Come on, baby. Last one. Oh, finally.
so peaceful and so beautiful. What a mess. What a mess. <laughs>